segue. So we were talking about canoe stories. And so I shared with the group um, some of my experience with uh, canoeing. I grew up canoeing with my family. Uh, my father would take us on expeditions down rivers. Every year we would choose a, a different wilderness river to canoe. And, you know, we would pick medicines as we, would, as we would go. Everyone would take turns picking things to make tea that day. And my dad would show us how to weave um, things in the, in the wild. Um, it, was, uh, it was beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful family time. One time, one year, we were going to go down the Spanish River. And we started at Duke Lake and we ended at the Elbow as a little curve in the Spanish River. And it was 99 kilometers of white water, rapids. And we would camp along the way. But what we didn't check out that year was the water levels. So me and my family, everybody has their canoes. <clears throat> there was, I think, five canoes uh, that was going down that year. And we were going down the river and we're going down the rapids and the rocks were exposed on the rapids as we were going down. And we were, we were, except for my dad, I don't know how he does it, he never got a hole in his canoe, but we all were getting holes in our canoes from hitting the rocks going down the river. So we pull over, we're about 50 kilometers into the bush and, and there's nothing. There's no stores, there's no, there's no nothing. So well, what are we gonna do? We're, we're getting water into our canoes and we're having to consistently bail out our canoes or else we're, we're gonna sink. You know, there, there was nowhere to, to get help. So we asked our dad, well, what are we gonna do about this? So what he did is he taught us how to make pitch. And he took us to the pine tree and he showed us how to scrape off the pitch that's coming out of the pine tree. And we took a, a, a metal old can that we had and we took some ash from the fire pit and we mixed it with, our, with the pitch off the tree and heated it all up. And we were able to make a, a little bit of a, a substance that we were able to scrape out and we were laying branches along where the holes were and then we were scooping up that pitch and pulling it down and sealing that, all those holes up. And that traditional knowledge really saved us because there was really no way, there was no cell phones back then and no service. There was no way to get help. There was no way for us to, to get out. So we were grateful that that traditional knowledge was brought forth by my father um, to share with us. So we were all able to fix our canoes and, uh, and continue on down the Spanish River to make it out uh, safe and, and happy with some great memories. Uh, still got that stuff on my canoe. It's really effective. <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah, a little canoe story about uh, utilizing traditional knowledge uh, in the bush. Well, Aliak for listening. <laughs>